Hi everybody on a bright day and you've got to forgive me because my camera unfortunately is not doing the light sensitive thing where it adjusts. But we'll get on with today's group which is Scald, French group and their song Zolonat. They're inspired by Norse poetry and that's where they got the name because if you go into first of all their website this is what it says and I'll read it to you. In the three years since its inception, Skald has taken an unexpected path through the international musical landscape by breathing life into the Viking spirit. And founded in 2018 when producer composer Christoph Boissin Boissinvent brought together some talents, <coughs> among them the lead singer Justine Galmiche, to form an immersive musical project. Now Skald embraces the ancestral spirit of the ancient skulls who created the legends surrounding the peoples of the north and their gods and through their music skull has taken inspiration from the poetry of the ancient skulls who also sang and told story, stories of the vikings and those gods now their music is characterized by singing in old norse and the use of ancient instruments including shamanic drums tell harper shiriko and much more and when we get into, and I did a bit more research, I said I'll be interested to know what the actual name means. Again, a skald or scale, meaning poet, is one of often named poets who compose skaldic poetry. One of two kinds, either the Old Norse, which we've talked about, which is encompasses a range of verse forms written in Old Norse during the period from the 8th to the 13th century, or it could be in Eddic poetry. And the Poet Edda, Edda is the modern name for an untitled collection of Old Norse anonymous narrative poems. So that's the name. It comes from 13th, 18th century Old Norse poems. So they're influenced by, by that in their songs as well and singing about the guards and goddesses. Now, I've been very, very interested in this band for a long time. I have featured them before and I want to keep featuring them throughout 2022 because I simply feel they have such a lot to offer. And everybody talks about Wardrunda, Aura, but I'm putting this French group who sings in the Nordic Old Norse verses and language up with them as well, because they just encompass everything that is Viking, that is good, and that is great. Why? Let's take a listen. Let me prove my point. Take it away, Skald. And it's sung in Old Norse and I do have the lyrics in front of me and I'll give you my interpretation straight after. Take it away Skald and Jelenot. <laughs> Yeah. 
Well, I'm glad it went very white towards the end because it matched me up here in the corner. I'm just apologizing again for the light interference, but it's a wonderful bright day here in Dublin and we get very few of them. So big smile from me. And if it makes me look even whiter, sure I'm Irish. Uh, I love that scald. I think everything about it is harmonious your voice with nature the music with nature it is very nordic in the sense that that's what they believed in the sun gods and i love the image during the video because i always talk about the video before i get into the lyrics i just love the way the sun hits your face and i've i've captured that now in a wonderful thumbnail that i'm going to put to this video to do it justice because Everything about it, you know, Nordic music and the Nordic way of life is attracting millions of people around the world to follow its ancient traditions. And that is why people like Wondruna and that is why people like Aura are so popular with so many people because of that earthiness about them. They don't wear shoes on stage. It's almost like Mother Nature is connected through the energy of the earth coming through them when they perform. Equally with that skull, Justine sang beautifully. And when the sun hit her face, at least she had color. I mean, the sun's hitting my face and I'm white. It's just, it's just one of those things. And, um, but seriously, it brings home the warmth of, of what she's trying to deliver in the words. I was quite surprised at the translation of the song here because it says a Yule, and which means it's a reference to a Christmassy kind of song. But there at the end, you've got the sunset, the sun coming up, and that's what Skarl's music does to you. It brings you a warmth, it brings you an inner happiness, and it's very free flowing, don't you think? Her voice, the music, it just makes you calm down. So instead of being so excited after hearing them, I'm going to come down and I'm going to get straight into the lyrics because there's quite a few of them. And I have the lyrics, thankfully, in three different languages, which is great as well. So we can, and because this is live, all my research notes, I want to just focus. It's called Yule Night. In verse one, it says, the cold is growing on the heath and, and the snow is storming. It's the seventh day of the Yule. Let's toast to the Yule if we want to rule. There's a fireplace in the middle of the temple and the beakers are going around the fire. Let's toast to the Yule if we want to rule. And we saw the fire in the beginning of the video. And I'm glad I was white up in the corner because it was quite a darkish kind of video. So black and white in, in this video, I think it brought balance. But it says there's a fireplace in the middle of the temple and the beakers are going around the fire. Let's toast to the Yule if we want to rule. So very traditional, very Christmassy, very jovial. The fire is lit. It's how it was done in old Nordic times. It's still how it's done even in modern times today. The amount of people, as you and I know, that go off at Christmas time like campfires. Please be safe, everybody, if you do do this. And... I'm sure you are, but you light the fire and you drink and you clink your glasses. So the mood is set in verse one. The sun is a shield of the clouds and the shining light, destroyer of vice, master of the wheel. The sun is a shield of the clouds and a shining light, destroyer of ice and master of the wheel. Let's toast to the Yule if we want to rule. So already you've got to understand how people would from old verse poetry plus modern day think i'm a great believer in the goddess of the moon i always have been it's one of those things i never really discussed until i got speaking to aura fans and i'm sure i'll get speaking to scald fans as well it's just something i really believe in and the moon energy when it's a full moon coming down and the energy going into crystals i have in the room and I believe that cleanses the air of negativity and turns it into positivity. It's just one of those things that I've always believed in. And I've noticed with Skald and this, it was about the sun goddess almost coming onto her face. And I love the way there was 
almost like the black and white of of the sun the half half moon effect it just gave a radiance of worship and thanks to the sun so there you go first they toast to odin they toast to victory and then to Nordic and pray and these are the gods in nordic times that you who are familiar from norway or familiar with skull's music would relate to that's why i gave you in the beginning that translation of their title where they're influenced from from the poetries around the 13th to the 18th century of nordic times and these were the gods that people still give reference to wardruna aurora all of them to peace and a good year and then it's used for many to toast Brage. they also toast to their friends let's toast to you if we want to rule i think it's a case of ongoing it's a very beautiful time the sunset is rising to the east you're capturing the moment the fire is lit but it's still mid-morning well it's past midnight now it's probably going into mid-morning and we saw that towards the end of the video the morning sunset so this is the in-between video that's been made that in-between time and that's just dancing and being merriment and enjoying and praising the guards for the earthly wonders the sun is a shield of the clouds it continues in a shining light destroyer of ice and master of the wheel but what does that exactly mean it can mean many interpretations songs mean different things to all of us if i was the sun without the sun the world would be a dark place we'd be dead we need sun not just for vitamin d we need sun for the food that we eat for plant life for breathing to distinguish between day and night for our sanity we need sun for so many things and yet how often do we look up and say i'm glad it's a sunny day thank you sun we don't but in nordic times they gave worship to the sun for its warmth and its radiance and, and breathing life into the earth and giving every everything around us even even human beings life because it's not just there it's the elements of the earth that's important too and so when it says destroy of the ice destroy of the ice is like it melts your heart you can feel cold but then in the sun you feel warm and that's what that interpretation means to me so it repeats itself and then in the last verse then the sun will rise when the sun will rise they will look to the dawn and the master of the wheel because when the sun does rise it's another wonderful day to be grateful for it's when the sun never rises do we need to worry don't we so that's my interpretation of the lyrics a wonderful wonderful nordic song by the french group skull i love this group i hope if this is your first introduction you'll go looking for the other skull reaction i've done i want to feature them throughout 2022 and i think you know why they just absolutely bring you down they set a light to that soul like feeling and make you feel at peace and what more can we ask for from music thank you school look forward to your next single and i hope you look forward to my next reaction if you do like this please like please comment and subscribe i look forward to your company